So guys, there's some drama currently brewing in the hip-hop scene. Ex Global is accusing Aries of not paying him his royalties for all the music they made together and suggests Aries won't produce any more hit songs because apparently he took off with all the juice. It's pretty intense and it feels like Ex Global just can't keep Aries' name out of his mouth. Recently, Ex Global took to Twitter to air his grievances once again, dragging Reese's name through the mud. It's ironic because Ex Global's Chopping It interview seemed like an attempt to clear his name from the whole TWC situation. Some even saw him as genuine initially, but now it's clear that he's coming out pale and showing off his true colors. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep you guys updated due to limited time I have of working on videos, but here's one more for you. To me, Ex Global seems to be acting immature, continuously talking negatively about Aries, even though Aries is not entertaining him. I mean, what kind of a person tweets about someone forever, although that person doesn't respond? At some point, he has to get tired, man. So in a recent tweet, Ex Global shared to say, We left with all the juice. A hit will never come out, but at least to left them with royalties so that they can eat and get high. So this is him basically saying he's feeding Revenge Club records. Really hectic. Apparently, Aries hasn't paid Ex Global for his contributions to songs they made together, some of which have been out for over 4 years. It's really a messy situation, especially considering what Echo and Words also said, suggesting they haven't been paid either, even for their collaborative album Long Lost Letters, which did quite really good numbers. Is Aries really the bad guy? So moving forward, there was another tweet by X Global recently dropped which went on to say, Chloe, you need to free your fans and tell them the truth. At Reese Young King, this has been going for too long. Just do an interview and tell them the truth. They don't want to believe how I met you. I don't want to mess up your brand and take the chest to another level. And to be honest guys, based on this tweet, I can say Exobal seems to be insistent on staring the pot, hey? I mean, this guy just keeps on claiming that Aries' fans deserve to know how him and Reese met. Like for what bro? Cause we don't care. I think it's really worth questioning who exactly is seeking this supposed truth cause as it appears, it's more like X Global is pushing his own personal agenda to tarnish Reese's image, rather than responding to any genuine fan inquiry. Furthermore, if you're really being honest, I really think X Global's persistent comparisons of wealth and status seem unnecessary and irrelevant to the discussion at hand. And it just proves X Global's persistent fixation on Aries. Bro, the TWC era is over. And despite the ending of the TWC era, X Global appears unable to move on and continues to hound Aries. It's really puzzling as to why he's so fixated on Reese's activities. His constant sharing of personal details unrelated to the matter at hand only adds to the confusion. But despite everything, it's commendable that Aries has chosen to not engage with this negativity. X for X Global, it's time for him to focus on his personal endeavors rather than dwelling on past grievances. Anyways, what are your thoughts on X Global's actions regarding Reese's name and brand? If you could communicate one message to X Global, what would it be? Feel free to share comments down below. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time, peace out. In their 30s, trying to start some beef again. When his kids as young as 10 at war in South Sudan. Yeah. Devil had a hold on me, now I'm finally breaking free, only God can save the king.